Hi guys, uh, welcome back to new tutorial. In a previous video, we seen how to install the micro ROS into the system in a humble version, and then we seen how to set up the system for the humble and uh, ROS uh, micro ROS. So then, uh, now in this video, we are going to see how to integrate the ESV module with an Arduino IDE, and we're going to publish the information between the ESP32 using a micro ROS agent and to the local system. So we'll see the basics like uh, publisher topic and node and the services uh, what are the things we are doing in raw assemble so we can uh, do it in the lower controller hardware doing acceleration we will understand the, those things so then we will use the ESP32 to control the robot using CMD well topic uh, using a uh, tool operation so these many things we are going to see in this uh, single uh, raw micro raw tutorial and uh, now we'll start with this so i'm going to connect the esp32 with my system before that we'll see the serial communication is uh, enabled or not so there is no device right so i'm going to plug in the usb with my system so then i'm going to give a less dev so now you can find out that the new port is open right so this is the port of esp1 so then uh, we need to source the terminal so this is a directory for micro ROS so I am going to source source install local bash so then after sourcing so then we need to launch uh, agent ok so this is the agent ROS to run micro ROS agent micro ROS and the serial number right enter it ok so like this we need to connect the ESP ok now we need to dump the publisher program for that we need to open the IDE and go to the files in the examples so then go to the ROS micro ROS publisher ok after opening after opening a micro ROS agent uh, example so this is an example code for uh, micro ROS publisher thing so then we need to go, go to the tools and yeah, choose the ESP32 module so then serial port Okay, now we need to dump the program into the ESP. So we need to dump the program and then Okay, after dumping the program, uh, you know it's starting. Okay, after uh, dumping the program, uh, we can launch the MicroOS agent now. So after launching, uh, we need to click this EN button in ESP32 to, to connect. We will wait for some time. Uh, I think some error is going on. Yeah. 
it will re-upload the code into the ESP32. And then uh, first, uh, well, we need to find out we, well the ESP32 is publishing the information between the ROS micro ROS agent to the local system of Humble. So right. Okay, now the code is uploading into the ESP32. So we'll uh, type ROS2 token. Yes. Okay, then giving this, you can find out that there is only two topic, right? So then we connect the ESP32 MicroS agent uh, with the system, and we can see another own topic will be available after the code dumping. It's going to finish. So and then we can use the, this node also, this command line also for find out the node, node list. So like this, uh, we can understand the hardware acceleration, right? So these things we can do it in simulation. But while well, doing it using ESP, we can uh, use a very lowest cost price uh, hardware to integrate with the robots. And we can easily understand how the working with and hardware things, right? Before uh, doing this, we use a simulation part to understand how the entire system is working. But while well, integrating with the hardware, we understand how to integrate the hardware, right? So, and then after this publisher example, we'll integrate the IMU sensors to how to get a feed from IMU and how to how the nodes and topics working. These things we can see, and then now. Uh, we can use this ESP32 to control the robot using CMD well using Jets and Nano also we can do that. I am going to write a blog where I will to publish that. Right now the right now we'll try to connect. Now we need to press this EN button in ESP32. Okay, now it's connected with our uh, MicroRose agent. MicroRose agent is working now. Then uh, I'm using free RTAS. Okay, so it's a real time operating system. So I'm going to make a host to topic list. So you can see previously only the two topics. Now we have a MicroRose Arduino node publisher, right? So now the ESP32 is connected with the ROS agent and also with the humble system. So we'll use ROS topic echo and then and then copy this topic. Okay, enter. Okay, now the data is transferring, right? So open a new terminal. Open a new terminal and type activity. Okay, now go to the nodes and the topics in plugins. So you can find out that this is a ESP32 node. It is publishing some data, right? So this is a topic. Now ESP32 node is getting a topic information. So like this. So here I am publishing this ESP32 ROS micro ROS agent. 
and then I am getting the data by rows topic equal list so I am visualizing data so using the topic so the using RQT I am visualizing the node so this is a publishing node and this is a topic using this we can communicate with another node also right and for more information now we can use a node list so that's a two nodes one is RQT another one is this microprocessor right so Right, so this is a working of uh, Microsoft with the ESP32. So next video we will see how to interface this ESP32 with uh, Jetson Nano in DOS to Humble version, and we'll use a TV operation to control the robot. Okay, and also we'll use this ESP32 single board uh, controller, and we'll integrate the IMU sensor with this, and we'll control the ROS based robot using ESP32. So thank you, we'll see you next video, subscribe to the channel.